Guys, it's me again. Welcome back to the Cambridge Vlogs. I can't even put into words how excited I am to be back in Cambridge, back at my second home really, and it's actually not, term's not officially started yet. It is the day before term starts, and guess what absolutely kind presents they have left for us on the first day of term. It's a mock exam, dum dum dum. As you can see, I am all suited and booted in me brand new Robinson College sports stash with me headphones. I'm ready for a trip down to the gym, get my brain kick started in the morning. Let's go. That plan fell pretty flat on its face. I uh, went down to the bike sheds. I had my tunes going in my ears. I was really ready to roll. And um, I found that someone had chained their bike onto my bike, making my bike irrecoverable. Um, so my gym trip has been slightly delayed. You might as well make the use of this extra time to do some revision. And seeing as I've got all my notes done now, I think I'm gonna get started on planning some practice essays, which just sounds like amazing fun. Right, so I've just got to say, um, it's actually been really good because I have just smashed out an entire essay on Roman law and you know when it just, it just flowing, it was just so good, so satisfying, I mean, yeah, I guess it's a bit of a lesson, you know, at the end of hardship comes happiness because I am buzzing now, even more buzzing, to go to the gym, get a workout in, I hope my bike's ready. Yep, it's me again. And unfortunately, my bike is still um, enchained. Um, it needs to be liberated. I need to be liberated. I'm stuck in college at the moment. Like, if I could walk to the gym, I would, but it is like nearly a mile. Yeah, I mean, you know, it could be worse. It could be worse. I think if it all fails, I can't get my bike back. After I finish this essay, I'm gonna pop into town uh, actually, the Refreshers Fair <clears throat> is on today, which is basically another Freshers Fair, but for people who have been here for a term. Anyway, there's loads of freebies on offer, so I'm going to be there, um, and I need to take a little trip to the shops. So yeah, let's smash down some more work, and then we'll go for a bit of a, uh, a bit of a wonder. Coolio, this is turning out to be an absolutely riveting day. Maybe you guys would be interested in knowing how I approach my essays. I mean, it's by no means a perfect method. I'm still developing it. But so far from my time in Cambridge, I have got a bit of a strategy. So first thing I do, I'll show you the question actually. The question is, the separation of powers is inadequately embodied in the British constitution this is clearly evident when one analyzes the executive's respective relationships with the judicial and legislative branches. Now, this is obviously a constitutional law question. You're expected to write 1,250 words um, on the topic. Well, that's the maximum. So really, that's not a lot of space. So as you can see, I've got a pretty small grid here with just introduction, paragraph one, paragraph two, conclusion. So the first thing I do when I've read the question is I get my iPad or I don't know, you may just get a piece of paper and I jot down my initial thoughts. So you can see there, I've got columns for introduction and then my first paragraph, my second paragraph. While I'm writing these notes, I go through my notes which I've made um, you know, from my reading, um, and I do it in a brilliant app called Notion. It's so good because here you go, Supervision 2, Rule of Law and Separation of Powers, and you can make drop down lists like this. It's just so much easier to find your notes, especially as exams in Cambridge are online. 
so it just makes everything so much quicker. So as you can see, so I've made made handwritten notes. Now I'm going to try and transcribe these very rough notes onto my little table here. And then hopefully I'll have myself a bit of a foolproof plan. I can start writing the essay. Ace, as you can see. Um, I have written up all my thoughts in a bit more of a coherent structure. Now we get on with the essay. Boom! Um, so I hope that's helped. But anyway, um, let's get right in the essay. Then I think I'm gonna go out and grab some lunchiones. Right guys, it's the moment of truth. It's now a good seven hours since I discovered my bike was locked. Let's see what the sitch is now. Ah, this is my one here, but it's still locked. I am back guys, um, it's been a pretty successful trip, I mean, let's take a look at some of the goodies in my bag, first off, oops, sorry, first off, we got ourselves this little Domino's uh, discount in here, which is very good, also got just stock food, spaghetti, rice, um, I'm planning to do more cooking this term than I did last term. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. Anyway, I got like loads of food, only 23 pounds or something, so that's a win, 100% a win. It's now about 3 p.m. I'm gonna get myself back onto that computer, get the work going once more. Come on, dedication for this exam tomorrow. Um, it doesn't look like I'm gonna make it to the gym today, um, which is sad days, but there's always tomorrow. Right, people, that is me. I have completed a whole bunch more work, just tidying up my notes. Um, and then I had a shower, so I'm feeling a bit fresh now. I think I am gonna go make me some food in the kitchen. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a bit of batch cooking today, so mm -mm -mm. I, am, I am quite hungry to be honest, so let's uh, let's see, let's Gordon Ramsay it up, mate. Guys, dinner is served. I've made myself up a nice little creamy chicken korma. It's not presented a la Master Chef, but it's, it tastes 
absolutely divine, I'll tell you that. And the bonus is a bit of batch cooking. I have got food for tomorrow and Wednesday as well, which will be perfect um, considering I have an exam tomorrow. And it was just a nice release to just go do some cooking, have a bit of a chat with um, people in the kitchen, just socialize a bit. It was nice, it put me in a good mood. So I'm gonna smash down this dinner. Then I'm gonna get back on the work, just finalize some details for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna chill a bit because I do not want to overdo it the night before the exam. Oh no, we have had an update on the bonkers bike fiasco. And basically, the person who's chained their bike to mine hasn't even checked back into college yet for the beginning of term. So I am stuck without a bike until this person decides to show up. So, whew, that's a bit of a tricky situation. But I'll survive. Back to the work, just about an hour's more to go. I'm nearly there, nearly there. Just a little bit of tweaks to the notes. And then it's gonna be a bit of chill time. Looking forward to that, actually. Right, guys, that is me finished for the old day. It's currently 9.30 p.m. Just gonna top it all off with a bit of Netflix. I think I'm just gonna chill down a bit with uh, a few episodes of Friends and then hopefully into the land of Nod. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Mock exam starts at nine. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty prepared. Um, quietly confident. I think I can do this. Come on, let's do it. Okay, see you in a bit. Morning guys, um, oh, I am awake now. Uh, I am digging the camo trousers, by the way. I am watching a bit of news. Call Kia on LBC. At the same time, sort of looking through some of my marked essays to see how I can improve. So, I mean, you can see here, I've got comments here next to my essay, which I'm reading through. Um, exams meant to start in an hour. Um, I'm looking forward to it in a very not looking forward to it kind of way. Here we go. It's now currently uh, 8.57. Three minutes to go. Oh my word, my heart is pounding. Uh, my computer's all set up as you can see. I've got a word process processor and all my notes. I've also got here in front of me some notes I made about my essay feedback. So on the whole, we're ready to go. Come on. Oh, you know what? It was just such a roller coaster. The exam started and I don't know, I feel like I just got a bit flustered and I felt like it wasn't going well. But I moved on to the next question. That one, like, oof, that one went really well. I got my confidence back up, went back to the previous question, sped it up, tidied it up, and I feel like in the end, we have finished on a high. And you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to some chocolate, chocolate. But anyway, guys, this is where this video is gonna cap off. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, it's not been terribly exciting, but I did think it was some good content, you know, to, to film me doing a mock exam. You guys know what mock exams are like at Cambridge now. My first ever exam at Cambridge. I'm still like, my brain's all over the shop. I'm gonna go out now. Um, enjoy your weeks. Enjoy the vlogs. If you're new around here, of course, you need to subscribe right now. Push that button, I can see you want to. Also hit the notification bell so you know when the vlogs 
are dropping. But I'll see you again next week, guys. And until then, you know what to do. Just stay awesome.